Have you ever had symptoms of a urinary tract infection but couldn't make it to your doctor's office or clinic? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chan. I'm a board certified urologist. Today I'm going to teach you how to check your urine for a urinary tract infection at home using a urine dipstick. So you can buy these urine dipsticks off Amazon. You don't need a prescription or anything. Usually the ones that I use in my clinic are a 10 parameter test strip. I put a link in down in the comment section below for the specific type that I would probably recommend getting. I'm going to show you how to use the dipstick and also how to interpret it to see if you might have a urinary tract infection. There's 10 parameters on this test strip, but there's really only three that I care about when trying to check for a urinary tract infection. One is nitrates, two is leukocyte esterase, and then the third one is blood. After you've urinated in a cup, wear some gloves. Step one, make sure that your test kit hasn't expired. Step two, take one out of the container and try not to touch the reagent squares with your finger. Step three, close the lid immediately to prevent oxidation. Step four, dip the urine sample and make sure all the squares get submerged in the urine. Step five, remove it immediately and then tap off any extra urine. Try to hold the stick horizontally and not vertically, otherwise it might cross-contaminate the reagents and bleed onto the other squares. Step six, stick it onto the paper towel. Step seven, read the guide to determine what's positive and what's negative. Nitrates need to be interpreted at 60 seconds after dipping, leukocyte esterase at two minutes, and then blood at 60 seconds. Let's talk about the three reagent squares that we're interested in again. Nitrates, this is a byproduct of the bacteria E. coli. It can also be positive in other scenarios like if you were taking something called AZO or peridium, for instance. Also, if you have a lot of blood in your urine, sometimes that can create a false positive. Next is leukocyte esterase. This is an enzyme that's produced by neutrophils, um, white blood cells that, that are around whenever somebody has an infection. And then finally, blood. Blood in the urine can be indicative of a UTI. It can also be indicative of other things more concerning such as bladder cancer or kidney cancer or kidney stones. Now, let me talk a little bit about the sensitivity of each of these. Um, in terms of figuring out how accurate it is uh, to diagnosing a urinary tract infection. Nitrates have about a 23% sensitivity. Leukocyte esterase has a 48% sensitivity. And then blood has a 64% sensitivity. Now, if all three of these are positive, then your chances of having an infection go way up. So if it looks like you know, nitrates, leukocyte esterase, or blood or positive on the urine dipstick. The next step is, you know, call your doctor's office or go to an urgent care clinic to get like a urine culture done, just so that you can make sure that if you get some antibiotics, they're the right ones uh, to treat the bacteria. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope that you learned something new today. Please subscribe to my channel for upcoming content. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comments section below.